Hello everybody, welcome back to Work Right Planner. Here I share my unique perspective on planning and budgeting while documenting my journey to pay off six figures of debt. You see, I spent nearly two decades supporting two children on a single income. And it's taught me a lot and I'd like to share that with you all. So if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. It means the world to me. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing if that sounds like something you're interested in. Um, I'm so glad to have you guys along with me for my journey. Today we are doing our January 28th cash stuffing. I am sorry if you can see the redness in my hands. Um, I think that they changed the soap at work and that I'm having an allergic reaction to it and they kind of burned. So yeah, it's nice. <laughs> But I apologize for the look of it. I did put on some lotion to try to ease that up a little bit. But um, I don't know. I don't think it's getting any better. Anyway, I am so excited to be here with you guys today. Because if you saw the January 28th paycheck budget, then you know that I had a decent amount of overtime this month. And had some extra money to throw into the budget. And so... I have my largest cash stuffing ever. Look at this. This is crazy. It should come out to be $372 is what I believe I have here. So let's count this and see if that's what we have. Can you believe it? $372. I have not held this much cash and I don't know when. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 330, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 356, 7, 8, 9, 360, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 370, 371, and 372. So yes, we have that. Now, I will just put these in the tray. I'm so excited I have something higher than a 20. And I have like a bunch. Like, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm actually one of you guys now. Okay, so we are going to start with my normal cash envelopes that are in my um <laughs> that are in my wallet i couldn't think of the word yeah they're in my wallet okay so eating out currently has 25 dollars in it i did spend a little bit um so it's got 25 and it is getting 25 so we need a 20 and a 5 my markers not wanting to work there we go So I should have $50 in here, which I'm excited about. I never have this much money in this envelope. 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. Now, some people unstuff their envelopes at the end of the month. I don't do that because I have been a poor single mom for a very long time. And I know that money is hard to come by. And so when I stuff these categories, that money stays. Now, next month, I may not budget toward this category as much if this much money stays in there. I don't want it to necessarily build to a crazy amount. The only one that I let do that sometimes is my gas money, and I don't mind if the groceries build up to something nuts. But eating out, I'm not necessarily going to let that just build and build and build. If I find that I'm not spending it, I'll stop budgeting for that. So, there's that. My envelope is going to get $25. So we'll just pull this out. 20 and a five. Let's see how much is in here. 
I have not spent anything since we stuffed it last time because, you know, worked two jobs and haven't had time. Um, there should be 84. Okay. So that should make our total 109 in here, which means, y'all, I can go get my hair done. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm a little excited. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So $109. It's time for me to make a phone call. I don't know that I want to spend all of this on my hair, but I seriously need to get a haircut. And, you know, that will do it and not hurt my budget. Okay, gas is not getting anything. Groceries is not getting anything. They're still fully stuffed. Joint miscellaneous is not getting anything. The no dine challenge. Y'all, I actually did eat out twice already this week. So, this did not get any money put in it, but maybe one day again, <laughs> I will skip eating out when I get the urge. Okay, so I don't have an envelope made for this yet. So, just to demonstrate for you guys that you don't have to have the fancy envelopes. You don't have to have a binder with the little plastic vinyl envelopes. Um you can just have a regular envelope. I will eventually have one of these others because my OCD won't allow me not to. I just haven't made one. So I'm going to put beauty. I have watched several of you guys and you have a beauty category. I've never ever had a beauty category. Um, but I've been doing a lot of thinking about my mental health and whatnot and I really, really in 2022 need to take care of me. And that might mean that I start wearing makeup again because I haven't worn makeup in a hot minute. Um, it could mean that I go and get my hair done more often. It could mean lots of things, but I want to have the money to do that if I decide to do it. So this is not going to get much. It's going to get $4. Okay, and of course, I don't have a tracker made for this. So, all I'm going to do is back here on the back, I'm going to write 128, deposit, $4. Okay, I've got $4 there. I'm just going to put it in here. Hopefully next time we stuff, I will have an actual envelope somewhere, but right now I don't. Okay, so now we're going to break out the teal binder. My teal binder, um, in looking through it, is mostly things that only come up once a year, but I know they're coming. Okay, so these are sinking funds for things that I know are going to come up. Most of them are holidays, but I know that they're there. And I just want to make sure that I have money for that. So, I don't know how you all get these things to sit flat. <laughs> okay, so Valentine's Day. Eric and I did some talking and we got a joint gift of cash for Christmas and we had not yet said what we were going to do with that. That is where the $100 bill came from. We have decided that since our goal for Valentine's Day was $100, that we're going to put that $100 into this cash envelope for Valentine's Day. So, I'm just going to go ahead and color all of this in because it is fully done.
Okay. <laughs> Still a little tacky, but oh well. $100 in that envelope and it is fully stuffed. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, we don't ever budget for this kind of thing, so I'm excited to have that taken care of. Easter is next. Easter is going to get five dollars. That means I get to color ten of the crosses. Okay, so we got five dollars. Okay, I'm putting that in wrong. Okay, so we've got the five dollars ah, in Easter. Anniversary is also a day that's important to us, so it's getting twenty dollars. I can't find my red wet erase pen, but two dollars, so I get to do the whole top row of these also. We are a fifth of the way there, y'all. Okay. I don't know what we'll do for our anniversary, but this is going to be the first year that we don't actually do gifts for each other. We decided we wanted to set a $100 limit and go do something together and have an experience instead of just random stuff around the house. Lawn care. That is a big one for this year. And we are going to do $50. So I've got two 20s and 10. 20, 40, 50. And that means I get to color in five of the little lawnmowers. Okay, so we've got five of those. $50 going in to lawn care. We need to, maybe if I set this one, there we go. Is that better? Okay, so next is Mother's Day. And pull this out. Each one of these is worth 50 cents. We're going to put in one dollar. I realize that's not a whole lot, but it is something. So, Mother's Day gets a dollar. I still have several months to come up with money to appreciate my mom. And if any, you know, if I have any luck at all, I'll have a little bit extra that I can throw at that because Lord knows my mother deserves it. She's a saint. Okay, so Father's Day is also going to get a dollar. And I did raise this um, because I want to celebrate my fiance <laughs> because he is a father. He's not the father of my children. Sorry, he's not the father of my children, but he is a father. So, let's see, we'll do the green. We're gonna cover in, color in this little mug here. It's got a crown on it, but I'll just color in the mug part. Okay, each one of these is worth a dollar. Dollar's all we got. So we colored in one. I really like being able to visually represent how much is in here. It's nice. Okay, back to school. I'm going to put in three dollars because that is the minimum to color in something on this one. 
and that'll get us started. Let's see, we did green, so I'll do blue. And we'll just color in the book. So that's getting us started on that. And of course, he's in high school, so I probably should have set that number higher than what it is. And I'm sure that at some point his dad will throw some money at it that is more than this goal, but we will see. Halloween. You're going to put in just a dollar because that's later in the year. And we don't have to worry about it just yet. And I realize this should be orange, but I don't have an orange marker. So it is what it is, y'all. The point is not to have it match, even though my OCD wants it to be orange. That gets these two. All right, that dollar. And Halloween. And the thing here is, y'all, like, I know that a dollar is not much, but it's something, and it's getting us started, and by the end of the year, hopefully I will have what it is that I'm hoping for. Thanksgiving is going to get $2, because I want to be able to color in something on Thanksgiving. So, let's see, that was green, we're going with blue. Okay. So let's just slide that down in there. Christmas. My Christmas budget is kind of high in comparison to what I've seen. Um, but this is not just what we spend on our family. This is everything that we spend for Christmas. So, you know, you're talking food, gifts for friends, family, coworkers, everything. Everything that I spent at Christmas time it's wrapped up in this thousand dollars. So today Christmas is going to get a hundred dollars. So I want 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 dollars. Okay. Okay, so Christmas is well on its way because we were only supposed to put in 80 some odd dollars this month, I think. I don't have my budgeting binder over here with me. Okay, New Year is going to get one dollar. So let's see, and these are worth a dollar. So Let's color in one of these clocks. We'll just go around the outer edge, color the frame. Okay. Oops. I should have snagged that I'm trying to put that in. Okay. So that is everything in this first binder. Y'all, I'm so excited. My binder has money in it and it closes. Did you see that? It's got all of the original envelopes in it and it closes. Look at this mess. I left it undone. That lawn care money, man, that's important too. Okay, that one is finished. And now we're going to move on to the yellow binder. The yellow binder are things that I want to do, but I don't have it in my budget to really put anything toward it. So, these are things that will only get money whenever there's extra money to be had. <laughs> so, let's see, how did I have this while ago? I had, like that maybe? Okay. So, 4th of July is not getting anything. <laughs> Sorry. 
I know that seems, it feels very unpatriotic to me, but right now there are some other things that I want to get started and we've got six more months to go. So vacation, that is a great big goal and I want to get that one started. So I'm going to put a dollar and I don't get to color anything because it's $120 to color anything. So, but a dollar is the first step. And this is a long-term goal, by the way. This trip um, that I've got the $6,000 set for, he's a sophomore this year, and this is the trip that we want to take for when he graduates. So that's going to be a long-term goal. Our wedding is going to get $5. But again, the goal on this is rather large, so $5 is not going to get anything colored. It's just getting us started. The honeymoon is going to get a dollar. And again, it's one of those things that we're not quite ready to color anything in yet. So I'll just put this in here with the dollar and we've got it started. <coughs> the new car, it's another great big one that I want to get started. I have a $10,000 goal. I will probably reduce that because in reality, if I get a new car, I'm going to sell my old one and it's still got pretty decent value on it. So, you know, whatever I can get to before I just decide I need a new car. But 10 k is going to be the goal on here. So we'll just slide this in here. New house is going to get a dollar. Let's see. Oh, and I don't get to color anything. Lord, I thought I was going to color something for a dollar on a house, y'all. Lord. Can you tell it's been a long week? <laughs> it has definitely been a long week. Okay, so that's everything in this binder except for I do want to make, um, I don't remember, I don't remember whose channel it was on that I saw the support small envelope, but I want a support small envelope. So I'm going to make me a support small envelope and in this one I'm gonna say today is 128 deposit we're gonna put in five dollars which gives us a five dollar balance Okay, the other envelope that I want to make is a back to bank envelope that'll reside in my wallet. Um, nothing needs to go in it right now because I'm not sending any money back to the bank. I still have $20 and this $20 is actually another 20 from Christmas. This was money specifically that was mine and I'm not real sure what I want to do with it. What do y'all think? Should I put it in? I guess it makes the most sense to put it in my personal envelope. Um, I thought I had made an envelope for my planner. You know what? I'm going to earmark this for planner money. So let me, mm, I think I actually do have that one as part of my big budget for the year. So I'm just going to slide this in here. And if I forget to make the envelope and y'all see this, 
please point it out to me, but this is planner money. I'm going to make an envelope for that. I don't know that that'll fit in here. I think this might be reaching its limit of what it's going to hold once money gets in here, but we shall see. Okay, so that's all of that. Let's see how I'm doing on change before we go. So I did use just a little bit of change. And so my rule that I set for myself this year is that I'm only going to keep enough coins that I don't make the next denomination up. So like take for instance, I've got five pennies. Five pennies makes a nickel, so I'm going to put that in the jar. Okay, so I only have one nickel. I've got two dimes. Okay. The rest of it. And oh, I got three dimes. So that's going to go in there. Okay. So the rest of it goes back in the wallet. This is kind of sad. It's not much. But this is going to go in the jar. Every little bit helps. And that is it for today. So the next video is going to be sharing my 2022 beginning net worth for the year. And we'll see how that looks so that we can compare it to the end of the year. And maybe occasionally throughout. I might do it quarterly. What would you all prefer. Just let me know. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure that you uh, subscribe so that you're notified when I post that. Um, in the meantime, if you're still in the mood to watch, YouTube has put the best video for you on the screen and I will see you next time. You all have a great couple of days.